Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my modded tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to build this basic smeltery from Tinker's Construct. You ready? Let's get started. That's right, we're going to be building a basic smeltery from the Tinker's Construct mod. Now, why would you want one of these? Well, the first reason and probably should be the most important, is that you're going to need a smeltery to make some of the more advanced tools that are available in Tinker's Construct. The second, and which usually rates higher on most people's bucket lists, is that Tinker's Construct smelteries offer ore doubling. Now, in vanilla Minecraft, you're used to taking one ore block and getting one ingot's worth. Tinker's Construct offers ore doubling in that you can put one ore block into the smeltery and get two ingots worth of metal out of it. It's because of this ore doubling capacity that most modded users will put together a basic smeltery early on in their modded game. Now this tutorial is not going to be a massive overview of the entire Tinker's Construct mod. Instead, we're just going to build a basic smeltery to help get you started in your own modded world. The materials you're going to need are in this chest right here, so let's take a look. You're going to need 29 seared bricks, a seared tank, two smeltery drains, a smeltery controller, two seared faucets, a casting table and a casting basin and you're going to need some lava and we've got some samples here of things that we're going to be using a little later now before we get into that let's see how to make those particular items first thing is the seared brick you see that it's in the shape kind of like a standard vanilla minecraft brick four seared bricks in this configuration gives you one seared bricks if we come over here we take seared bricks surround a piece of glass and we get a seared tank. Remove the glass and you get a smeltery controller. Remove the middle bits from the controller and you get a smeltery drain here with these six seared bricks. You put seared bricks in this configuration, this V shape, kind of like a flower pot, and you get a faucet. And if you use seared bricks in a configuration similar to the vanilla cauldron, you get the casting basin. And if you take the seared bricks in a fashion similar to leggings, you get the casting table. Now, I've been talking about this seared brick. How do you get those? Well, you have to smelt grout. There are two types of grout recipes, so let's take a look at each in turn. The first one, you got one clay block, four pieces of sand, four pieces of gravel, and you get eight grout. Alternatively, you can divide that by four and have one clay ball, one piece of sand, and one piece of gravel, and you get two grout. You smelt the grout in a furnace, and one piece of grout goes to one seared brick. For this particular configuration, you're going to need somewhere on the order of 164 seared brick. Sounds like a lot, but if you spend some time in a river or in a swamp, you should have plenty of materials to get started. So let's actually start this up. Now that we have our materials in hand, we're going to knock out a three by three area in the floor. And we're gonna lay out a foundation of three by three seared bricks. We're going to go to the back and put in a two high three wide wall like so. Off to the side we're going to put another two high three wide wall. Over here we're going to do three wide, one high, and then two seared bricks right there. And then we're going to put our seared tank like so. Let's put in some lava as well just to get started. And that is that. Let's come up to the front, put in a one high wall like so. We'll put in our smeltery drains right there. And then we're going to put the smeltery controller and take note of what happens when we do. You see the animation that shows up? That means that we put this together. If this does not, or put this together correctly, if this does not light up, then that means that something is amiss and you might need to play around with how the configuration is. So we can look in here, we see that we've got 4,000 millibuckets of fuel or four buckets. And that means that we can start putting some of the gold ore in. And you'll know if you did it correctly when these progress bars start lighting up like so. Now, we don't have any way to get the metal out, so let's take our seared faucets, put those on the drains, and then below those faucets, we're gonna put a casting table and a casting basin respectively. All right, so all of the ore has now converted to molten gold. And you see right there, we put in five ore blocks. And we've got 10 ingots worth in the UI. That means that we have doubled. So that's where the ore doubling comes into play. Now there's a couple ways that we can play around with this. The first one that we're going to do is we're going to right click on the faucet over the casting basin. What that's going to do is put out 
nine ingots worth or one block. So we'll wait for this to finish and then it's going to cool down and then we can right click the casting basin and we now have a block of gold. Now to get an individual ingot out of the smeltery we're going to need to make an ingot cast. So what we're going to do is take a, an item that looks like an ingot and in this case a seared brick will do just fine. We'll come up to the casting table and right click the ingot onto the casting table. We need to make sure that there are at least two ingots worth of molten metal in there, molten gold in particular. We'll right click the faucet, we'll wait for that to fill up, and then it'll cool. We right click on the object, we get our seared brick back, and we can get our ingot cast as well. You right click on the casting table to pick up the cast, and we're going to put that back in our inventory. That's just to show you how to get it out of the casting table in case you want to change it up. We'll right click it back into the casting table because we're going to make a gold ingot. Now with molten gold in the smeltery and an ingot cast on the casting table, we can right click the faucet and we'll see that a little bit of molten gold comes out, let it cool, turns into an ingot, and there we go. We've got our gold ingot and you can just do that for the rest of the molten metal that's in the smeltery. And that's how you build this basic smeltery here in Tinker's Construct. Again, not a huge overview of the mod, but this should be sufficient for early game modded in your own world. If this has been informative for you, please do think about hitting that like button. And if you haven't already, think about subscribing so that you can be informed about when these come out on the channel. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.